on this recording, I'm gonna show you how to use a circuit tester, or if you want, you could call it a test light. And if you plan on getting a circuit tester, or you already have one, make sure you only test it on the specified volt on your tester. On the tester I'll be using, it's only to be tested on 6 volt and 12 volt. This is the tester I'll be using. And the way this thing works is, at the end of this wire, there's a clamp. You gotta clamp this to a ground. And then you touch the end of the probe to a power source. And by getting ground and power, the light bulb gonna light up. I'm gonna test the fuse under here. Take the cover off. Usually, under the cover, I'll tell you what each of the fuse is for. I'm gonna clamp this to this bolt here, and I should get ground by doing that. Now if I touch this probe to a power source, the light is going to come on. Most of these fuses should have constant electric current running through them, even though the car is turned off. So here's how you test fuse with a circuit tester. You touch one side of the fuse, the light turn on, touch the other side, the light come on, then that means the fuse is good. If you touch one side, the light come on, and you touch the other side, if the light does not come on, then that means the fuse is blown or broken. For example, if I touch here, the light come on, if I touch here and the light does not come on, then that means the fuse is blown. But what I'm seeing here, I'm touching both sides and the light is coming on, so that means the fuse is good. These two 15 amp here and here, I'm touching the fuse and the light doesn't come on. These two fuse are for the headlight. I'm touching those two fuse for the headlight of the car and I was touching them and the light isn't coming on. It doesn't mean the fuse is bad. For some fuse, you gotta turn on wherever the fuse is used for. You gotta turn it on to get electric current to get power running through the fuse. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn on the car and then I'm gonna turn on the headlight and after I do that there should be power or electric current running through the fuse and when I touch the probe to the fuse the light should come on. I gotta turn on the car so I gotta open the garage. I gotta turn on the light. There should be power now. I'm gonna turn off the light.
I turn off the lights so there should not be any power right now. There's another test you could use a circuit tester to test. I'm gonna give an example. This wire here, I don't know what this wire is for, but this is just an example. Let's pretend I wanna know if there's power running through this wire. We're just pretending. And let's say if I cut, well, I don't know if this is plastic or hard rubber. I could cut this open. I could touch the probe to the wire. If this light up, then that means there's power r running through the line. If it doesn't r light up, then there's no power. There's no electric current running through this line, this wire. But if you do do this test, you want to make sure you repair the cut that you make either with electric tape or bare off, just replace it with new wire.